outer strip of VA. Filter off. Get this filter out. Get a little flat head. Pop this inner filter out. Pull, you'll see a lot of dust in there. Quite grand cleaning box. Might have a small tool, just chuck that in how it is. Pull that up. Then you'll see two red clips. If you just press one of them in, you can slide that out. Then you've got that little red lever there. Pull on that. A little flat head, pop the bottom bin flap off. You can wash these, just leave them to dry until they're not even wet at all. Then take the outer rubber seal off with a flat head just to pop it up. Chuck that in the box or wherever you're going to clean it. That's that done. Then you got this. Take the little bottom flap off or rubber seal. Get flat head. Just lever your screwdriver around. So there. It will just slide off once you've got it off. You can actually, if it makes it easier, T15. You've got four screws back here. If you just take them off, they're just here. So, one, two, three, four. So, if you just take them out, just put your screws in a pot or I'm using a magnetic plate. So if you just take these four screws out with a T15, I will say in below what tools you'll need and sizes of screwdrivers. If you just take these out, chuck that in the box to get washed. And then there's a big clip at the back, lever that over. This is probably one of the hardest bits of the Dyson to do, really. You've just got that off. You can pull. You've then got a little ring inside. You can push that out goes out like that when you've got the cyclone bit off now I think it's a T5 I will say in description but you'll have one two three four five screws there one two three four five if you just take those out chop those in your pot or <coughs> Your magnetic plate, what I've got. It's also got a little rubber seal you can take off, which just goes around the top, which just keeps the suction in. Just take the screws out. Probably see underneath where it's all filthy. Put all your screws in your pot just so they don't get lost. Back it off. And then you got this. This is where we microscopic dust all goes. If you just take all this off, you'll then get into all the cyclones. 
there will be one, two, three, four, four inside, and you'll have two at the back. So you take these two out of the back first. Put those on there. And then you've got four here, so every two cyclone you'll have one in the middle of the beginning of the other second, of the other third cyclone. So you'll have one there, one there, one there, and one there. So now we'll check that off. And then put that over. Just if you, if they don't come out, you get a little a screwdriver to just pop it out. And then you'll have these. You can take this middle bit off if this comes with it. Brush that off, and then you've got your seals. Make sure you don't rip them because it, it will affect the suction. And then you'll have a little black one just in there. And that'll be your seal holder done. Then you'll have the inside of here. You'll have that bit, which is all. And then you'll have this bit, which you can take the back bit of the rubber off. So, but I normally leave it on. And then if we go onto the head, bits falling out of it. Put those screws in there. Now you're going onto the head, pop it off like usual, put that there. What you need to do first is you need to take the brush roll out, which there is just a thing there, you just get your flat head, twist it, take that out. Take as much of the rubbish off you can, you can pop the side off, if you take the side off, find some dirt in there, take that off. Take this hair all off. Chuck that down there. If you've got any scissors, it'd be easier. But just take all the hair off, just so then you can wash it. sticking to you brush roll they are always filthy but if you just give them a good scrub in the water then got this you'll have this rubber bit on the back you'll have a little space for a screwdriver to go in just like here you'll have that get a flat head fry it up you'll find some dirt in there it's normal with these and then there's one way you can pull them out, but you kind of need it with dust out first. So we just pull the dust out. Just little holes you'd pull it all out. You've got a little arrow of it sliding down, so if this wants to slide down or if you just want to be a bit more easier you can just pull it out on the top just like that get your little flat head or your big flat head anything that can wiggle into there comes out like that really stiffly you can pull it out you'll have some bits stuck in the rubber but you take that bit out try and get all this dust out got all dust out 
Now you will need your same, I think it's T15 screwdriver and you'll have three at the front. You'll have one in each corner here. You'll have one just in the middle down here, which might be covered with gunk. You'll have two here. You need to take those out. Make sure you put the head and the cyclone part in a separate container so you don't get them muddled up with. Because some are different sizes. You might also find some dirt trapped in the bottom of where the intake hole is that would also stop your suction from coming and if we just empty that over you should get all your screws out put those in a container the middle one needs to come out but sometimes they do get stuck really small screw and then you will need to get your flat head, go behind the neck and pull it up. Because where that just where you got that extra piece of plastic there that slides under for more security. And then you've got your sit wires, you'll have a little rubber bit here, just pull that up. And if your head's a bit sticky get your little flat head and pop it up do that on both sides pull that up you can take that seal off which will be getting a clean put that in your box then you've got this bit you will find some dirt trapped here so if you just pull that out Make sure that's all nice and clean. Then get your flat head. And then get behind there. So you got your first piece and then you go behind. Pull that up. You got that out. And then with a bit of strength. I think you have to twist it or just pull it at an angle. And then you'll get that bit off. And then you'll just be stuck with that, which you just leave. So that is how you strip a V8 down. Thank you for watching and have a good day.